They seek to establish systems of government based on the regimentation of all human beings by a handful of individual rulers who seize power by force. Yes, these men and their hypnotized followers call this a new order. It is not new, and it is not order. What about the time he cursed the fig tree? You know, pious Christians sometimes make me very angry. They don't even know Christianity. They don't know the man they're following. He was a revolutionary. He was a dangerous man. And by God, so am I. And so should you be. This country was founded by dangerous men. And the moment the people in this country cease to be dangerous men, it's going to be the day we cease to have a country. Their whole goal with this philosophy is to teach all men and women that the only end of life is to seek the utmost pleasure and happiness that you can get out of it because when you die there's nothing else. That's what they teach. That's what they want you to be. They don't want laws against sexual promiscuity. That's why they don't want families. That's why they don't want marriage. That's why they encourage homosexuality. There's a method to their madness. There's really not much method to yours because you're operating from a place of ignorance and until you change that you're going to be bumbling around, bumping into each other, saying and doing the wrong things, not understanding the nature of your en enemy and if you don't understand the nature of your enemy and the weapons they use, you cannot fight that enemy. You can't fight the battle. You shouldn't even be on the battlefield. Yeah, nigga. Today, we all come together with one common goal in mind, be patriots, be willing to take a peaceful stand to show the world that fairness, justice, and freedom are more than just words to us, they are a way of life, which at this current pace our children and grandchildren may never know. That poisons people and it can kill people. That makes, you know, that makes people complicit in uh, ethics violations. It's a known carcinogen. It on record causes cancer and it drops IQ points up to 20 points. It gets in your bones. Um, the FDA labels it as a drug. Um, so, you know, I just want to know if anybody did any research on this stuff, if they know that they're putting drugs in the city water supply. Uh, just last week, I think it was, Time Magazine had an article on it saying that fluoride causes cancer. And you're putting this stuff into our water, not to mention, um, I think for the chemicals and, and stuff like that that you buy for fluoride, you waste like a million dollars a year on that. Ten million dollars can be going to a lot of other places. So, you know, th there's no debate about fluoride. It, it's got to be taken out of our water. And I think everybody needs to do some research on that and look into it. I don't remember voting to have that put in my water. And I don't think anybody else wants uh, acid, chemical, toxins dumped in their water. I don't think they would vote on that, so I don't know how it even got voted to get put into the water supply. The question I want to ask is, how come none of this is being addressed, and isn't that a threat to everybody's safety? There are many cities around the country that are taking this out of their city water supply. 
I wanted to know if uh, Sacramento County and other counties around what they're doing about this. The fluoride issue, uh, I know the last vote on it, I think, was back in 98. I just want to know if anybody did any kind of studies on what fluoride is. So um, if you're being forced by government officials or higher-ups uh, not to report on this stuff, if you don't have the guts and the courage to stand up to them and tell the people that they're being poisoned and how to take care of themselves, then maybe you should just resign. Okay, Mr. Taylor. And leave, leave your positions. Mr. Taylor, or you I should be you fired for not Mr. addressing Taylor. the public safety. So there's the uh, nuclear fallout map that I got from globalresearch.com showing the nuclear fallout. Um, coming to the coast of California right there. So um, there's your proof right there of uh, radiation hitting our coast that nobody's addressing and telling the public how to keep themselves safe. And um, also, a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that um, I mentioned a bunch of percentages of animals and plants that are being radiated. And the bluefin tuna percentage is now up to 100% of our bluefin tuna is contaminated with radiation and also much of the kelp and so you know there's radiation out here and that's going in our water and uh, some of this waste from Fukushima is being buried in Sacramento particularly in North Highlands right next to a city water supply I mean you know you're putting fluorescent acid in the water uh, I think it's time to have a new discussion about that. Uh, I don't remember voting to have poisonous acid added to my water. And uh, that's another thing that could be saving this city a lot of money, just by taking that stuff out. So uh, there's a couple of public safety issues here that need to be addressed. Uh, you know, people's health and safety are at risk. The whole nation. Infants born after March 17, 2012 in California are exposed to 40,000 becquerels of iodine-131 that causes thyroid cancer. There's an actual letter from the FDA telling physicians in California not to put people on potassium iodide, which helps guard against radiation poisoning. Complete violation. Unless you do something to protect against the radiation, it's only going to accumulate more and more in the body, and eventually people are going to get sick and die. This is a public safety issue, and it's been going on for three years now, and there's no media coverage, no public officials telling us how to protect ourselves. Cesium-134 and 137 are in the pollen, in the water, in the air. And uh, let me read you something from Section 802 of the First Patriot Act passed October 27, 2001. Any action, terrorism, terrorism, any action that endangers human life that is a violation of any federal or state law. I was just uh, curious uh, when clapping is appropriate. Is that after they speak or after council people speak? Uh, again, when is clapping appropriate? <clears throat> after the speaker speaks or after a council person speaks? I just want to follow proper protocol. I notice that uh, when the big bucks king things come up, uh, it's very liberal for the clapping. But uh, could it be that uh, things that are not so popular with certain people are frowned upon? Anyone have an idea? So, folks, Permanent Patriot here. I just let out some aggression, so hopefully there won't be too much in this video. But it's a long video. Um, most of it is um, other video. <laughs> not me sitting here and uh, 
it's very, 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 very important video. Okay, fluoride. I ain't done no shit on fluoride in a long time. Because it pisses me off some. I think y'all know that. That's why I ain't been going to the city council. Because I'm so close to ripping someone's fucking throat out down there. And you know who it is. And a few other people too. But. I want you to see how. Another reason I stopped going. I want you to see how your fucking city, Sacramento. How your city treats its fucking citizens. What they think about your opinion. What they think about one of the most diabolical fucking things ever to be done to human beings. Like we're fucking rats. Which is why I always say, folks, they want you dead. You, what did I say? They want you dead. Dot com, bitch. Go and bite on this fucking page. And one thing you damn sure better do is get the fucking vaccine exemptions per state and get that too. Okay, if anybody needs any help at all waivers for your kids for school or whatever doctors some shit going on you know get in touch with with uh, Kevin Allen master of many things he can get you anything on that shit I would do it but I probably end up away for a long time okay they want you dead com all right, Fluoride Action Network, fluoridealert.org. Um, so, anyways, back back to where uh, were we? State fluoride database designed to enable you to access key fluoride-related information relevant to your state community. Does your community put fluoride in the water? Find out if your town is fluoridated. Find out which fluoridation chemical your town uses. Um, yeah, find out how they regulate it because certain states are different. Out here it's against the law. It says state code you cannot put it in the water. Period. And they're put, dumping it in there. Uh, find out if there's any communities in the state with high levels of naturally occurring fluoride and you want we're talking about uh, sodium fluoride here not calcium fluoride and the only thing that I know I haven't been on this in months but the only thing I know of that can destroy fluoride is black mica other than that don't know what to tell you just put black mica in the bottom of a glass and pour the water in there and the fluoride will float up right up to the top. You just take it out with a little spoon or a ladle or something. Goes, this is a great sight to know. Cook facts. Children now exceed recommended daily dose intake of fluoride. Her day yesterday. I'll wait for it. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, look. You better read your children under six. Hello. <laughs> the fuck? Nobody's brought that up before? Look. Link to ADHD. Okay. Look. 74,500 fluoride action network members. Quick fact. 97% of Western Europe has rejected water fluoridation. And I think GMOs. Not the United States. All right, folks, come over to uh, Forbidden Knowledge. Actually, you got to type all of this in. The Forbidden Knowledge dot com slash hard truth. 
Ah. Enter. And go to the bottom of the page. Click here. There's fluoride shit everywhere. Everything everywhere. You can see I I I've been coming to this page for years, folks. I have I still haven't got to everything yet. See all the shit in purple I've been to. Well, I've been to some of the stuff in the blue too, but it depends where you go and look at it. Um, fluoride. Some an incredible wealth of knowledge on here. And all of these either link to government, you know, White House, Pentagon, DOD, up here, or uh, fluoridealert.org issues put on the sources of fluoride. This shit poisons. See what fluoride is? Is it's a toxic byproduct. It's it's uh it's the shit of chemicals, toxic chemicals, fucking bacteria. It's literal shit. It's the shit from the bacteria. You're dumping shit in your water. Now this is harming the environment as well. The chemtrails harming the environment. I'm sure the fucking GMOs get, are going to do something to the fucking ground eventually. The fucking soil. Um, all this fucking shit. The air, the water, the food, the vaccines. Folks, they want you dead. Hello. They want you dead. It's called a soft kill. Go and look it up. Which is probably, and it makes you docile too. Which is probably why people in this country haven't ripped these fucking cocksuckers to shreds already. That's what they did to the fucking prisoners in the Nazi camps. Watch the videos. You'll be glad you did. Oh, if you want, uh, you want a good toothpaste, the only one I can think of out there is, uh, I use, uh, Tom's of Maine. No fluoride. That's it for now. God bless. Carry on. The report that you are about to see documents this horrific fact in detail. What you do with the information is up to you. You have been warned. The information that you are about to see and hear is some of the most important info that you will ever witness in your life. I can say that unequivocally. And I am begging you for the sake of you and your family and for our human family to please Take notes to check the different documents and news articles that we're going to show you here today and prove to yourself that we're telling you the truth. In fact, we're only scratching the surface. There is a private global corporate government now operating in the open that is based on the quack science of eugenics. And to put that in a pop culture context, or something the general public will understand, Hitler was a eugenicist. And he got his ideas from scientists in England and the United States. Now, the robber barons like the Rockefellers that funded Hitler early on in the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute still control this nation and much of the world today. And the entire development of modern sciences through large tax-free foundations and government funding and DARPA that President Eisenhower warned us about has been in the direction of basically creating an artificial habitat. 
an artificial system where the scientific dictators or the technocrats as they call themselves play God over us and manipulate us. They see us as lab rats, as guinea pigs. Now, in the last decade, I've talked a lot about eugenics, really for more than 16 years on air, but intensely for 10 years or more. And in the different documents that we're gonna show you here, we found the UN documents, the Planned Parenthood documents, the World Population Organization documents, where they openly discussed breaking up the family, getting rid of the quote arcane institution so they could have their international collectivist system shutting down all competition against the ultra rich that is the system that we face as a society and i'm gonna go over some of those documents but up front i want to just say this the system is scared to death of this information three years ago they had a bunch of different george soros affiliated and democratic party affiliated groups come out against me and really simplify uh, the, the uh, straw man that they'd built and go after me by saying, Alex Jones says the government is putting chemicals in your food and water to make you gay. What I had actually said was, bisphenol A alone that's in thousands of plastic products, printer ink, you name it, is lowering male fertility is a estrogen mimicker and is feminizing boys and men and hyper feminizing women and has been linked in major studies to breast cancer and other cancers it is devastating our society and these har hormonal disruptors are actually running off into the lakes streams and rivers and confusing the sexual reproduction of nutria rats, rodents, uh, fish, turtles, you name it. Uh, this is a toxic waste and it is added to our water, it is added to our food, it is added through the plastics that are in almost everything to our daily lives to reduce our fertility. Now I want to show you first this document. This is from Planned Parenthood to the president of the Population Council that was tied in with the United Nations. And in it, they break down in 1969 plans to lower population and destroy the family. A, postpone or avoid marriage. B, alter image of ideal family size. Demonize having more than one child. Compulsory education of children. They mean brainwashing. Now listen to this one. Encourage increased homosexuality. Here's another one. Educate for family limitation. Fertility control agents in water supply. And the current White House science czar, John P. Holdren, is on record in multiple books calling for this as well. And I got news for you. It's going on now. You are being forcibly drugged with toxic chemicals. Hundreds of them are added to the water supply, including radioactive isotopes, not just sodium fluoride that gives you a seven-fold increase in cancer. They have gone absolutely ape over the fact that I'm talking about this because it hits at the core of how these scientists are playing God, okay? This is not saying that people in the Roman times, some of them weren't gay or whatever. This is not about a moral issue. This is about to reduce population, giving men estrogen mimickers so that they're not attracted to women and so they are less fertile or infertile. But on the other side, it's making girls go into puberty at nine, 10 years old, many of them now at five. I've seen some articles as young as three. This is all over the Western world. The United States has the highest cancer rates, especially in women and breast cancer. It basically accelerates the aging process to simplify it. It does a bunch of other horrible things as well. It causes deformities in utero, causes more abortions, women to have miscarriages. And that's what this document gets into. It says compulsory abortion or out of wedlock pregnancies, compulsory sterilization of all who have had two children. What do you see in China? Our government went over there in the 70s, made a deal with the U.S. government and the U.N. to industrialize China and finance them if they do this. And now I see articles where they have forced abortions, where they're arresting people or taking their property if they have more children than the state says they can have. 
Th China is the model of the world. Break out of this matrix. Realize that you live in a controlled society and an artificially constructed civilization that is designed to dehumanize you and strip you of what it is to be a human.